Hello! Today I would like to talk to you about something that greatly concerns all of us. Millions of people every day face the struggle of having buttons slightly out of reach. Take me for example. I would love to have a cup of coffee right now, but sadly my great grandfather was a T-Rex, so now I'm stuck with 10 T-Rex arms. But luckily, with my new invention, which is totally not just a slightly modified, readily available product, I can use the power of voice commands. Ok Google, coffee on. And after a few seconds, my coffee machine turns on. Thanks Google. If you too would like to learn more about this amazing technological revolution, stick around. So a while back I bought one of those Sonoff Wi-Fi switches. They're incredibly cheap, like $5, and they work with your smartphone and all these smart assistants like Google Home, Alexa, you name it. The trick is that if you push the trigger or push the button, they connect the output side to mains voltage. And that's good for most people, like they will just cut the power cord in half and then put this in the middle and that way you can automate lamps or machines or fans maybe. But what seems you know, unnecessary for me is that once you've done that, you can only use that machine with your smartphone or with voice commands, which is you know, a bit of a hassle. So what I thought would be fun today is for me to show you how to modify one of these so it acts as a button pusher. So you know how most electronics use buttons and they are mainly just 5 volt wires touching each other. So by modifying this we can have the relay just connect the output pins together. And it's not that easy to show here but the process is very simple. I'm gonna link an image at the end or down below or overlay it. But the important parts are you have to disconnect, let's see, you have to disconnect this one right here, this is just a resistor, a jump over, cut, yeah, cut one lead off so it doesn't connect anymore, and on this side cut off a bit of trace right here. But once again that's gonna be in the images, you're gonna be able to see that pretty clear. Obvious disclaimer, if you are uncertain about doing this and if you do not have faith in yourself or are doubtful, don't do this. This is mains voltage, at the very least it will hurt a bunch. Just don't take risks, basically. Don't do what you're not comfortable doing. So with that said, I'm gonna set this up for testing and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work. All right, it's set up to mains voltage on the input side. I have the app open, it's all connected. I'm not gonna show you how it's done because it's really simple and there's a little manual in the box. The only important thing is there is one setting here that is called, at the very bottom, is called itching. And that basically just says, you can define a timer here. I have it set to 0.5. And if you have that enabled, it's gonna turn on the relay, wait for that amount of time, and then turn it off again. So like a toggle switch, basically simulating a button push. So if I press this button, you're gonna hear the little click, and after half a second turn it, click once more. And that's all there is. Next part is getting the coffee maker and taking it apart and seeing how we can cram that inside. So I finally got it apart and I think I can fit the board right in here, like on the inside of that case, there's absolutely nothing in that space, so that should be good enough. The only thing left is I have to connect the mains voltage that runs, comes in here to the board on this side, right? No, on this side, and then this button, which is a power button, to this side. Luckily for me, uh, blue and brown, which are mains, are right on this board as well. And since I don't have to draw any power from here, like in the regular use case, I can use thin wire like this, thin and flexible. And as long as I run them through different uh, channels on different sides, there shouldn't be any interferences.
Everything's connected. It's in there. It should fit. I'm still gonna do a sending check before I close it up. So, it should be energized. The light is blinking. Let's see if we get Wi-Fi. The way this coffee maker works is it's basically always on and just waits for an input on the button to start up heating. And I got it connected, so let's see. You should see this lamp is blinking now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's working. Which, this was not hard to do, but you know, stuff never works the first time. Weird. Fucking magic. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna go close this up and then show you what it looks like once it's all done. And that's what it looks like when it's closed up. Hopefully you can see it all that I changed or modified this, but it's inside. I got the app eWe Link installed on my phone. That's the official app from the developer of Sonoff. With that app installed, you can also hook up the Google Home or Alexa or whatever assistant you choose. And if I press that, that turns on and off. And I can also use voice commands. Okay, Google, coffee on. That takes a bit longer, but it also works. Thanks, you can... thanks. So, the important thing is that I can also still use the normal buttons to interface with the machine and not just the smart thing. As you can probably guess, this is a rather silly use of that technology, but I hope you can imagine what options this gives. Like, for example, you're away, from, uh, you're away on travel and you need a file from your home computer, you could hook the power button of your computer up to this system and then just start it from wherever you are and join the computer with the remote app of your choice, like TeamViewer. Or you could uh, connect it to your door uh, opening system and just open the door when a delivery man is close by. Or, you know, stuff like that. It's just you know, a fun project to tinker around with. If you enjoyed this project and would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe down below. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future projects, also let me know in the comments. I would love to talk about it or discuss it. Until then, have a good day.